Everyone's talking about language models, GPT this, Claude that, but the real revolution, it's happening in the shadows, inside comfy UI nodes, on hugging face spaces, and in open source labs where creativity is evolving faster than speech. If you're not on hugging face, you're missing the AI internet. It's not just a model repo. Every idea, model, dataset, and workflow lives here. Open, remixable, and evolving in real time. Think of it as a neural fabric connecting all open source AI. And then there's Comfy UI, the visual brain of generative AI. Forget prompts, it drags and drops cognition. Artists are chaining nodes, blending lauras, pushing GPUs to the edge to make dreams move. This is where workflows become art. A new kind of creativity that runs on logic, not luck. Imagine a world where AI writes your song and your video. Where voices talk, sing and converse, all from a prompt. Welcome to Fall 2025's AI Audio Video Revolution. In just six months, we've gone from static prompts to full video worlds. From silent clips to synchronized voices. And from AI whispers to generational leaps in model architecture. This isn't an update. This is the AI renaissance. From spring to fall 2025, we've seen closed video models roll out native audio and open tools catch up fast on voice and music. The gap is narrowing, but the battlefield is expanding. Welcome back to Codebreakers. And today, we're looking at the entire generative AI landscape. Sora 2 dropped like a bomb. One year ago, Sora 1 redefined what was possible with moving images. Today, we're announcing the Sora app, powered by the all-new Sora 2. It's the most powerful imagination engine ever built. Now every video comes with sound. Sora 2 is also the state of the art for motion, physics IQ, and body mechanics, marking a giant leap forward in realism. 10 second clips, native audio, and better physics than anything we've seen. One 2.5, cinematic moves and lip sync in one API call. Kling 2.5 Turbo, think TikTok, AI Studio, on steroids. These aren't toys, they're production grade short form machines, but they're closed. And that's where the open source battle begins. Stay tuned, because later we'll show you the most powerful open source side by side with these giants. Suno has gone from fun covers to studio level songwriting. Entire tracks are now AI born. Vibe voice. This will copy anyone's voice. It's a three second audio clip. The closest thing yet to a human soul in waveform rich emotional adaptive singing voices. Together, they unlock music videos from text alone. Today, I'll walk you through the most powerful open models you can run, from WAN 2.2 to Quen Image Edit, and then into audio, 3D, vision plumbing, and how to chain them in Comfy UI. The WAN models are insane. Alibaba's open source video leap. This model family supports text to video, image to video, text and image to video hybrid modes. The 5B hybrid model can run on an 8GB VRAM card, generating 720p at 24 frames per second. All its weights and inference code are out now. WAN 2.2 uses Apache 2 licensing. You can use and adapt it commercially. The WAN 2.2 14 billion parameter high and low noise models are extremely versatile. They can be used in many different types of workflow the text-to-video models, the image-to-video models can be used in ways we've yet to discover. Using first and last frame generation, control nets, and a plethora of different kind of use cases. WAN 2.1 is its predecessor. Lighter, smaller models, WAN 2.1's text-to-video, 1.3 billion parameter model, runs on 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Its 14 billion parameter big brother is still a beast and has an immense amount of workflows and fine-tuned versions adapted from it. But WAN 2.2's improvements in architecture, control and performance make it the real jump forward. 
In Comfy UI, you'll see three WAN 2.2 models in the community example, the 5B universal model and two 14 billion parameter text to video and image to video models. Why is WAN 2.2 a big deal? Because it democratizes cinematic video generation. The open community now has a serious video base model we can hack, optimize and combine with audio. Next, we have the Quen image and the Quen image edit models. Quen image is a 20 billion parameter model open under the Apache 2, built for strong text rendering and image generation. Quen Image Edit extends that. You can now edit images precisely while preserving style, layout and fonts. The magic, Quen Image Edit fuses two pathways, one through Quen 2.5 Vision Language for semantics and one through a VAE encoder for appearance control that lets it make changes that look natural. It supports precise text editing even in bilingual contexts, maintaining fonts, size and style. On leaderboards, Quen Image Edit is already being praised. Community threads call it one of the best open image editing models. So far, one equals video, Quen is visual editing. And that even includes not safe for work content. But to build the full pipelines, we need audio, 3D and vision plumbing. And what is that you may ask? And that's a good question. It's a set of foundational computer vision tools that connect image to video generation models to understanding and editing tasks. The pipes that let you detect, track and segment or isolate elements before feeding them into the gen models. Think of it as a control and analysis layer of a generative workflow. Let's run through some of those building blocks now. Audio and voice gen. Vibe voice from Microsoft is an open model long form, multi-speaker, text-to-speech, built for narration, expressive voices. This is a powerful open source voice generation and cloning model. So if you want to learn more, then subscribe to this channel. Otherwise, you might get left behind. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want, but I have a particular set of skills. Skills I have acquired over a very long career. I will look for you. I will find you and I will make you subscribe. Check out the community and the Comfy UI node integrations. You have Suno for generative music and for singing, vocals, instrumentation. It's currently on version five and it is off the charts. Anyone who's used this knows what I mean. It produces covers better than the originals and it's currently in a lawsuit for copyright infringement. It is a closed source platform and you will have to pay for V5. Bet you haven't heard of Audio Flamingo 3 from NVIDIA. And this is a fully open, state-of-the-art, large audio language model, an LALM, that advances reasoning and understanding across speech, sounds and music. Although the model is for non-commercial research purposes, its benchmarks are impressive and it can take up to 10 minutes of audio inputs. Check it out on Hugging Face, but it's one you should be aware of. Next, we have LFM2 Audio. Small but mighty, a 1.5 billion parameter model built for low latency, multimodal audio and text tasks. LFM2 Audio is an end-to-end -end multimodal speech and text language model and as such does not require separate ASR and TTS components. Instructions on how to download and run this locally are right here. There's also a Gradio demo. You can get onto Hugging Face and check it out. And whilst you're there, let me show you how you can on Hugging Face find models by specific tasks. So if you press the Models tab, on the left hand side you will see the menu. And under the Tasks, scroll down to the Audio section. And you can find Text to Speech, Text to Audio, even Automatic Speech Recognition, Audio to Audio and Audio Classification. And here you can find other tasks too. Audio Text to Text like the Quen Audio model. And I'll show you one other model. We have the Kimi Audio 7B Instruct. This handles diverse tasks like speech recognition, audio question answering, audio captioning, speech emotion recognition, and end-to-end -end speech conversation. Instructions for downloading it and using it locally are right here. So, between Suno, Vibe Voice, Kimi Audio, and the rest of the open source audio models, there's not any sound or music that you cannot create. You can also strip out audio and vocals from a soundtrack. This audio separation is required for my infinite talking workflows. Here I use a small model called the Mel B and Roformer, available on Hugging Face. 
and using simple custom nodes in Comfy UI, you can separate the vocals and the music within any audio soundtrack you provide. If you're willing to pay, Suno will allow you to separate not just vocals and music, but it can detect many stems, separate instruments and voices. And honestly, there's nothing in the open source arena that can match Suno at the moment, especially the latest V5 installment. They have a free trial, so have a play around if you haven't already. So you have your music and you have your audio and now you want to lip sync animate your character or your avatar. So we've replaced the fantasy portrait now with the infinite talking model. This is a hugely versatile model and I've got a video on that, so go back and watch that. But there is also a video to video workflow that allows you to create more dynamic motion whilst lip syncing. You can pick that up from my Patreon. And there you can find lots of other workflows. I've also got a bunch of free workflows on my website. So if you haven't downloaded Comfy UI, I suggest you do it and grab the workflows and have a go. So just a few other models and developers you should be aware of. So the WAN models come from Alibaba, so it's always worth keeping an eye on them. Whatever they're releasing, it's normally something decent. And also ByteDance. And this is the parent company of TikTok. They are huge in the AI industry. Their latest model, which I think I'm going to make a video on, is the Lynx. It can make consistent character videos using a single input image. For those of you with smaller machines and less VRAM, you need to know the QuantStack team that developed GGUF models to run on smaller VRAM. Check out their pages on Hugging Face where you will find all the GGUF models. It's a great place to start. For the veterans who know Kijai, this guy is big in the game in the Comfy UI world. Kijai's repo is full of great models and lovers and fine-tuned variants. He's great at testing and creating workflows for us. Shout out to Kijai. Keep up the great work, mate. You're a legend. So, at the end of the day, open source gives us freedom. Tools like Comfy UI, Vase and CauseVid let us create, explore and push the limits of our own machines. But we can't ignore the reality of compute. Proprietary models, the big players, simply have the horsepower and the fine tuning that comes from massive infrastructure. So while I build most of my visuals and workflows locally, when I need that money shot, the extra realism, motion or polish, I'll tap into an API call. Services like CDream or Kling can deliver results that even the best local setups struggle to match. It's not about choosing sides, it's about blending both worlds. Local for freedom and control, APIs for raw power and refinement. Together that's where the magic happens. This is Codebreakers, decoding the future of creative AI. If you made it this far then thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next one.